Hello everyone, and welcome to my Scum single player series. Um, I played Scum a while back uh, when it first came out. I haven't played it since then, really. And I know that uh, the developers have been changing it and adding new things. Uh, I follow a couple of YouTubers who play it, so I'm pretty much up to date on what's happening, what's going on, all the new features. Uh, and I thought I'd try and get back into it again. So uh, let's get straight into the character customization. We'll stay as a male. Age. Let's go. 27. Why not? Uh, keep my name, Mr. Candy. Muscle. Uh, this is where you got to be careful because you want to get the attributes right. So. Let's go. That'll do. Although that only gives me 2.5 intelligence, but never mind. Uh, head type. Nope. Uh, let's just stick with number one for now. Or maybe number two? Yeah, let's go number two. Uh, tattoos. Do I want any tattoos? Nope. No, I'll keep those off. Uh, concealed mode will keep on. But I do know that if you lower your manhood slightly, your intelligence goes up a bit, which uh, I I is not true. But, you know, for the sake of the game, it gives me a little bit extra intelligence. Now we've got the skills. So I know that the map is huge. So running, running we want sort of middle and medium endurance to be the same. So if we can try and get, there we go, both medium, do running just a bit more. Uh, boxing, we'll do middle of basic, rifles, medium, melee weapons, basic, handgun, basic, archery, uh, let's do archery, basic, and do a bit more on the rifles, dexterity, thievery, driving, Demolition, not really going to need demolition because it's a single player. Throwing, uh, good for distractions. Stealth. Stealth, Let's see if we can get to, there we go, basic in a bit. Intelligence, sniping, we want as much as possible really. Awareness, basic, camouflage, basic. Let's see if we can just put all these to basic. Engineering, we'll do a bit more. Hopefully that helped us with crafting. Uh, basic, basic. Running medium, endurance medium. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, Mr. Candy, crime arson, same as always. Okay, cool. Let's go. Into the world of scum. And here we are, in a forest, somewhere. Secure communication oh. with human asset established. Greetings, human asset. Welcome to Scum Island tutorial protocol provided by the Tech One Corporation. My designation is Dual Energetic Entity Neural Appliance Ordina. I am an artificial intelligence created by the Tech One Corporation tasked with overseeing the Scum Show protocols including the preparation of human assets. If you wish to activate the tutorial, please do so on your journal interface. Secure channel closed. That's just the in-game tutorial to show you how to do the crafting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right, let's open the map, see where we are. Where are we? We are way up north in D3. Okay, one thing I do wish they would add is I wish you could zoom in on the map. Uh, <coughs> it would be really helpful to, to zoom in a little bit. So we've got nearest town to us in the west, and then we've got the main road. Oh, there's quite a big town to the east, but that's a bit far away. So first thing, we need to get ourselves a stone knife. Uh, there's one rock, oh. and there's two rocks. 
crafting stone knife. I vaguely remember how to use all of the crafting stuff and things like that. Um, I, I never really played it that much when it first came out, so the metabolism is all still fairly new to me, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, green is good, red is bad, basically. It's the easiest way to follow it. Uh, where's my stone knife? There it is. In my pocket. And now we need a bush, because we need some sticks to create a courier backpack, or craft, sorry. Cut this down. And soon there'll be the um, 0.5 patch, and apparently the map has got even bigger. Uh, I don't know which way it's been opened, I don't know if it's the north or the south that has been opened, but... Um, I know it's quite large. I mean, it is already large, but it's going to get even bigger when they release 0.5 patch. But for now, we'll just see if we can sort of, you know, get along on this one. One, two, three, four. I need one more. Let's just put my T-shirt here so I know where I'm going back to. It's very difficult to see the stuff on the floor in the undergrowth. Sometimes and you can always do the old trick of running around with your inventory open to try and find out where you dropped all of the stuff as well. Uh, small stick, small stick. Let's head back over here. Uh, let's drop those. Let's cut those into rags. So the aim of this uh, series is to. Uh, basically try and survive. <laughs> um, like I said, I've never really played it. Uh, no, I don't want to craft a pumpkin. I want to craft some rope. Uh, I've never really played it majorly when it first came out. Uh, but I did you know, play around with it a little bit on the multiplayer servers and things like that. Uh, so what I want to try and do is get as many guns as I can. I would like to try and get each weapon, at least one of each weapon, so the 50 cal, the M16, all that kind of stuff. Uh, build a base somewhere uh, and expand it and see how long you can keep this Mr. Candy alive for. Uh, I know that it's quite difficult sometimes, uh, especially when you get hordes of zombies. See, now I don't know where I was, so I need to try and find myself again, which is really annoying. This is why I wish they could put like a marker down. Mm, where was I? Somewhere. I ran in that direction. I'm sure I was near here somewhere, wasn't I? I was near a path. There we go, that's where I was. Uh, long stick, long stick. Cut into small sticks. We'll do the same with the other one. I need, uh, I think I need, uh, where is it? Yeah, three rags, two ropes. So let's get rid of my underwear, because I don't need that. Cut into rags. So I need to cut this one into small sticks. If I sound a bit funny, that's just because I'm ill at the moment. I've got a blocked up nose and all that funky stuff. Uh, craft. There we go. Get ourselves a little improvised courier backpack. Put some stuff in. It takes a little while, but it is very pretty though, I have to say. It is a, a nice map, <laughs> nice area. And there we go, equip. 
And do I have a long stick? No, I don't. Uh, we'll take some rag strips. Have I got my... I've got my stone still. Right, okay. Uh, let's just go and get a long stick. And make it into a spear. Just so I've got something. Until we find... Something better to use. As a melee weapon for now. And then we're going to head west into this little town uh, see what we can find there I've got a long stick a small 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 long wooden stick improvised wooden spear I've only got five percent left on my stone knife it's getting dark already my item got destroyed improvised wooden spear there we go that'll do all right so now we want to head west which is basically along this dirt track here. Oh, there's a little village down there. Let's see what we got. Hopefully we'll find something. Oh, vehicle is also uh, quite important as well for getting around this massive map. Let me slow down. Can I see or hear anything? Also might take them a minute or two to spawn in. Can't hear anything. Let's get my wooden stick out. No, can't hear anything. Ah, look, see? There you are. Come on, go down. Ow. There we go. Well, I took one hit. At least we got rid of her. Right, what have we got? Construction rubber boots. Mm, now I'll stick with my trousers, leggings, fingers, shoes, cotton shirt, and cap. Nope. I'll stay with what I've got. Now. What's that? A lead plate? Not so interested in the metal at the moment as I know I'll need that for the construction sign and stuff. But for right now, whiskey. Whiskey I will take. Always good to have some whiskey. That is freaky as hell. Uh, paper. Nope. Okay, did I search this one? Yes, I did. Okay. Can't hear anybody else. Just have a quick peek. Nobody in here. Nope. A bra. Uh, oh, a rope. That's handy. I don't need the bra. I'm not bleeding, so I don't need any rags at the moment. What's that? Hazelnuts. Check taste. Oh, I didn't need to eat them. Oh well. Hopefully I won't be sick. <laughs> Spill my guts everywhere. That would be handy. Wouldn't be a very good start. What have we got here? Bolts and scrap. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Come on, give me something good. Uh, metal scrap. Oh, last one. Piece of rubber and more metal scrap. Nope, okay. Next building. It's always good to peek through the window. Just to make sure. Yeah, let's see, exactly. Come on, down you go. Just. There we go. That's why I was saying it's always good to peek through the uh, window. Because you can, rather than just run in, what's this? Jeans. Do they give me, oh they do give me more. Okay. Nice. 
We'll keep those. I'll get a knife in a minute and can make some rags out, rags, rags out of those. Can't speak. Nothing in there. Anything in the fridge? Nope. Cooker? Nope. Uh, oh. What's that? Rag strips. Can you combine... Patch wounds. Why patch wounds? I'm not needing, am I? Physical injury stage one sick. Okay, so... Hmm. I didn't think I was bleeding because I didn't have the little blood droplet in the bottom left. But there we go. Right, next building. Close the door. Now, this is quite a big thing, so I'm expecting for some Sleeping Beauties to be inside somewhere. Possibly upstairs. Search the trash quickly. Uh, piece of paper, no. Next one. Nothing. Close the door. What's that? Vodka and a spicy snack. Okay. No, nope, nothing. Some more rag strips. Always handy. Such a sweet box. Padlock. Now, I know these are good for crafting and your houses and stuff, but. I've only got limited space for the time being, so I'll leave that for now. Nothing else here. Okay, upstairs. Let's just... Yep, look, see? There he is. Come on in. My pokey stick. Come on. Ow. Down you go. Oh, he got me again. Bastard. Stay. Uh, you've got nothing. Patch wounds again. 81 health. Got me two times. My, my pokey stick's doing quite well so far. Anything around here? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing in the sack. Oh, there's another one. Oh dear. <coughs> Why did you wake up when your friend made the noise? It's a bit strange. Normally they wake up when they hear all the noise. But never mind. Nothing, 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 nothing on the shelves. Nope, okay. Oh, there's another room here. Can I not go in this one? Oh, into the toilet. Anything in here? No. Okay. Bit of a disappointment. Let's check the car, but I think it's just going to be scrap metal, really. Uh, ooh, quite a lot of scrap metal. Grinding stone? Blimey. Okay, uh, is there an entrance? Let's jump over. Anybody look? Yeah, let's see, there's another one. Ooh. Big boy there. Come on. Come on. Ow! Ooh, you bastard. What? That went straight through you. <sighs> now I'm bleeding. Did you see that? My stick went straight through him and it didn't register. I've got a head trauma. And I will eat my snack as well. what this dude had. A 
Puppet Eye. What do you use those for? I have no idea what you use those for. Nothing in there. Anything in the fridge. Nothing in the fridge. Cooker. No cupboards. Empty. Bathroom. Search the washing machine. Beanie hat. Put a beanie hat on. Keep our head warm. Uh, woolly sweater. Or fishing hat. The what looks better? The beanie. Or. No. No. Oh, the beanie. The beanie. Balaclava, nice. That's a good find. That's good. Uh, that's everything in here, yep. What's this way? That's the way we came from. Let's stick out again. Anything in here? Yoga leggings. No. Oh, I'll tell you what I will do. Uh, is I'll make another knife so I can cut some stuff into rags because it seems I'm going to need them. And we can put those in there. There we go. At least I got some kind of a knife now. Oh, I thought that rock was a zombie then. Or puppet. Oh, hello! That's going to be handy. Anybody lying down anywhere? Let's just go and check. Nope, this one seems... Oh, hang on. Uh, this room seems to be clear of this house. What's that? Scrap metal. It's actually a clutch. Nothing. Medicine cabinet. Some soap used for washing yourself. Some rags, which uh, I need. Nothing else. Anything in the washing machine? No, nothing. Uh, can't move any of that. Done in there. Done that one. Upstairs. Fridge. Rubbish. More bolts. Can opener, very useful. Razor blade, razor blade. A backpack would be nice, I have to say, and a weapon. Alright, safety pin, they're used for lockpicks, so that's going to be handy. And that's it up here. I'm glad about that little tractor, let's go and have a look at that if it's got any life in it. Make sure there's no zombies around. It's a bit smoky. Can search any of this stuff? There's a box here. No, nope, nothing. Now, that has to be extremely lucky. A small toolbox right next to a vehicle. But what I can do is, if we store, is I can put some of this stuff in here to give me a bit more, keep the rags, give me a bit more room. Let's see if it's got any juice to it. Oh, it's not bad. It should, sta it should start and it should get going. So how long it goes, I don't know. I don't know if it's fairly economical on the fuel side of things. Right. Anything over here? It's very quiet. Nothing. Which can either be a good thing or a bad thing. Scrap metal and bolts. Nope. Uh, can you go upstairs? So I see a ladder. Oh, you can go upstairs. up here. Nothing. A box. Uh, a baseball cap. No, I'll keep the beanie for now. I'll keep the 
beanie. And this will just be feathers. Although there might be some eggs in here, actually. Yes, see, an egg. Get a fire again, have some scrambled egg. Anybody lying down in here? Can't see anybody. Is there any other windows? Nobody there. Nobody there. Nobody there. Nobody there. Okay. Seems to be clear. Close. Thank you. A lathe. Nothing. More scrap. A rag, 12%. Nothing. Drill press. Bit empty. What's this? More metal. Big tire. Oh. Um, not scrap. No. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a window there. Can I see? Uh, not what I wanted to do, but okay. <coughs> Where are you? Upstairs? Are you here? Yeah, there you are. Lady. Big lady. Come on. Take my stick. Come on. One more. Ow. Ow. Jesus. They beast. Two smacks. Well, she's a big lady, so, you know, she's got some power behind her. It looks like she's got some military pants on. Mm, duct tape, nails, cotton shirt, trench shoes, tactical military pants. I'll take those, because you can repair them, I think. Um, and you can wash them as well in the river with the soap. What's that? That was crap. Nope. I thought that was a cooking pot then. Anything else up here? Let's go upstairs, hoping there isn't another lying down person. Oh, look at that. Yes, please. Hello. That is perfecto. Look at the space that's given us now. Where's my egg? We'll cut that into rags. Nice, that's a good find. That is exactly what we needed. And it's the assault backpack, so it's fairly decent. I know it's not the hiking one, but it's certainly got plenty of slots in it. Empty. Uh, did I search this box? What's that? Metal scrap. Okay, I'm going to put my knife away. Don't need that out. Right, uh, where's the trigger? Uh, oh, I've got this off. Orientated for a second. Right, downstairs. Nothing. 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 Fridge. Empty. Bathroom. Nope, nothing. Okay. Anybody in here? Mattress? Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, what we got? Bobby pin. Can you... Yeah, see, look, crafting to lockpick. There we go. That's handy. Uh, take that. But I think, yeah, you also need a screwdriver to go with it, so I have to keep my eyes peeled for a screwdriver. Nothing in there, nothing in the fridge. Nothing in there. Nope. Hiking boots. Yeah, I'll take some hiking boots. Get rid of them. Uh, bathroom. Fishing hat, earmuffs. Yeah, I'll bother with the earmuffs. 
Okay. Next. Which is this? Open that up. Anything over here? A couple of boxes. Nothing, nothing. This will be feathers, yes. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh. Hello, that's what we needed. Where are you? Hello, Mr. Robot. Now we've got a proper melee weapon. What's that? More earmuffs. Right. I don't want earmuffs. Nothing. This will just be feathers. Yes, feathers. Yeah. Okay. Jump down. Don't bother with the car because it's just going to be. Scrap. What about this? Can I search this thing? I can indeed. Nothing. Nothing. Feathers. Okay. Right, let's go and get the tractor. Which is back here, so I need to open this gate as well. Open, please, Sesame. Hello, thank you. Not bad, got a self sledgehammer, decent melee weapon. And, of course, an assault backpack, which is uh, <laughs> even better. Right, put those in there, put the egg in there, rags will keep, and the bobby bin will keep, just in case. Uh, drive. isn't good. Nope. Uh, maybe there's a slope. Maybe I can get out, out that slope there. Get the speed going. Can I get up here? Yes, there we go. Right. Don't go in there. Where's the car coming from? Where's the 
bridge. Uh, the bridge is much further up there. We're all going to land on that side, aren't we? Okay, so let's take a little run up. Hopefully this won't take too much damage. Down and up the other side. Please. There we go. But it does actually unlock, doesn't it? At fif is it 15 seconds? 15 seconds it unlocks or something like that? Right, so I'm just going to stay here. Um, and I'm going to wait. Until... Oh, look, there's a sentry. You see him through the bushes? not going in that direction. But, to be honest, uh, an airdrop and a tractor actually, because uh, these things explode, so let's be smart. No, not run into the tractor. And let's move this away. Like... And then let's just wait. I think I think it's down. Where you wait? Stop. I think it's down to. Uh, pretty sure it's 15 minutes. Can't remember now. But ev eventually that should say unlocked, and then all of these lockers will be unlocked, and I'll be able to get everything. Hopefully everything, because it's on a time now. So you've only got about. I'm pretty sure it's 15 seconds. You've only got about 15 seconds to get in, get the stuff, and get out, which isn't a lot, so before it explodes. And obviously, huh, exploding means death. What was that? I just heard a noise. I really hope a bear doesn't come out of there and eat me. Uh, just keep an eye on that. Right, I'm just going to wait here until this says unlocked. I uh, just have to wait and see, but I know it does say unlocked at some point. I know there is a window where, where you can get in and grab this stuff, where you don't need a lockpick and you don't... Uh, you know, need a crowbar or something to force it open. Obviously, you've got minimum time to loot, so you need to just sort of grab and go. Good thing, it, right, let's get rid of that. Good thing is, is that we got the assault backpack, so I can actually put quite a bit of stuff in here. And I've got 50 kilos, and then I've got Betty over there, so I can just throw it all in that. And hopefully I'll have enough time to do... Well, as many trips as I need. Uh, if it, if I can empty this, it would be really handy. Uh, yeah, of course, if there's anything decent in it, if it's just, you know, sugar or flour, then obviously I'll take a few bags, but <laughs> not all of it. Uh, but if I get a weapon of some kind, uh, then we might be able to take out those zombies by the fuel station, especially the explosive one, uh, and put some fuel in the tractor. What was that noise? Was that just me being cold? Is there something here? Hmm. I hope not. Right, are you going to go unlocked? 20 seconds, come on. Start of the back one. 
there is a zombie, I can hear it. Either that or it's an animal. But th there is something in those woods. Or m maybe it's just me, I'm hungry. Yes, hopefully we're going to fix that. Did it say if I'm cold? Body temp, 36.6. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Not freezing. Not freezing. What's all this dripping stuff? Do you see that? There, look, see? I still think there's something in those woods. The good thing is, is I can just... No, I can't close the door because it will explode. <laughs> so it's grab in there run away as quick as possible that's the plan are you gonna go unlocked I hope it's two minutes five four three two one no crap maybe it was 15 seconds maybe I was right Or maybe it's a minute. I have no idea. But I'm going to have to be really quick about this. I wonder if... Hmm, I don't know if my vehicle's in the proximity of the blast radius. I really hope not. I mean... I really, really hope not. Please don't blow up. And I, I don't have enough time to move it now. Uh, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Or... Huh. Maybe it's 50 seconds? I honestly don't know. I can't remember what the what the patch note said. Yeah, that was a zombie. Shit. It is locked. Okay, I'm going to back away from this a bit. Because I don't, I don't trust this. Maybe it's 30 seconds? Nope. Uh, this is, this is too risky. Oh! Take the medicine. And run. Please don't blow up the car. Or me. Holy crap! How big is that blast radius? Jesus! And we lost everything. That's not good. And where are we? C3. Right next to the big bunkers where the things are. Okay, so on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Um, Jesus, I didn't realize the blast radius was so big. That's just pathetic. That's unbelievable. That was like a nuke. Wow. Okay, note for the future. Uh, <laughs> don't stand near those things anywhere near those things when they go off. Because that was insane. I honestly thought I would be safe at that distance. I really did. Oh, I lost the assault backpack. Oh well. I got a stu I got a knife. What are we gonna do? Right, uh Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.